Hey guys, it's Scott here from Anime Blu-ray UK and today I'll be unboxing the limited edition Blu-ray and DVD release of Sailor Moon Crystal Part 1 which has been released into Australia via Madman Entertainment. So the Australian release of Sailor Moon Crystal Part 1 is available as a standard DVD, a standard Blu-ray and this limited edition combo pack version which kind of mimics the limited edition release uh, by Viz Media in America. So more about that later but to start off with we've got the front of the box which has the sort of uh flowery logo design of sailor moon crystal which mimics that of the japanese release we have the top which has some more uh symbols and icons from the series we have the spine which has the sailor moon crystal logo as well as some more of the gold shiny logos we then got the back which is what we see here which has a synopsis of what you can expect from this first part of the series which contains i believe 14 episodes we also got a list of uh, extras so we've got textless opening and closing songs art cards and a booklet because obviously that's the contents of the limited edition set we now some screenshots and then the technical details at the bottom now you will notice that the technical details uh, English 2.0 and Japanese 2.0, in other words, stereo sound isn't surround sound because that's what Viz Media do, stereo sound. Um, and that the discs themselves are the NTSC or American formats. So there's no PAL slowdown. It is the, you know, original uh, American standard. But other than that, it's pretty nice looking uh, release. Disappointingly, though, it does come in a carded box rather than a chipboard art box. Now... Previously, Madman Entertainment's releases for limited edition sets like Love Live, k -On, Guilty Crown, uh, Blue Exorcist, uh, the Full Metal Alchemist. There's quite a lot, really, when you think about it. They've all come in limited edition chipboard art boxes, uh, similar to Funimation designs. But for whatever reason, in this limited edition set for Sailor Moon Crystal, they've opted to go down the route of a carded sleeve and a carded packaging like that that Manga did for their limited edition release of Attack on Titan. So it's a bit disappointing when you think about it as the card is sleeve. Um, although it does look nice, it does reflect more, which is a bit disappointing. It is a bit more glossy, which, you know, not really what you want. And as you can see here, when you've got the spine, uh, you've got a gaping hole, um, which is where the card meets. Whereas on a chipboard art box, you wouldn't have that. I understand that chipboard art boxes cost more to produce, but I just feel that... You know, from a longer period of time, and you know, considering the price of this collector's edition release, because it does cost about 55 quid, something like that, uh, you're not really getting sort of value for your money. But that aside, once you get rid of the chip, uh, the carded sleeve, we then are left with the digipack design, which, unlike anime limited releases, does actually uh, look pretty good. So, before we get to the digipack design, we have the booklet that comes with this part one uh, release of Sailor Moon Crystal. And as you would expect, it's got a selection of uh, character portrait shots. Some spoilers will be had here, unfortunately, so uh, probably best off not looking at this booklet until you've watched the series. But being that Sailor Moon is quite an old series, so to speak, you probably already know what's going off. Anyway, so like I said, it's got a variety of character portrait shots uh, from the Sailor Moon Crystal design and then we have some more promotional artwork at the back so it's quite a nice booklet then into the digipack design uh, as you can see here it just folds out but we've also got a selection of art cards now there's about 10 art cards i believe i, I haven't really counted them per se but there is quite a uh, nice variety of artwork in these art cards so they're all like sort of postcard size uh yeah, postcard sized, and each one features a different key artwork for that particular character, such as Venus, Mars, Mercury, uh, Sailor Moon. There's different versions of Sailor Moon, obviously, when she's powering up and when she's the uh, queen and so forth. So quite a nice variety. They are quite thick cards as well. They're not thin like uh, the art cards seen by Funimation and Anime Limited, so it's quite a nice thing there. But finally, we get to the bulk of this set, which is, as you can see, the Digipack design. Now, the discs themselves, you've got the Blu-ray discs on the left-hand side and the DVD discs on the right-hand side. I hope I'm saying that right, as I did get it wrong before once. Um, but as you can see, it does look great, you know, the way it's presented and the style. But there's no sort of logo. The actual Sailor Moon Crystal Part 1 uh, aspect, well, actually, don't even say Part 1, just says Sailor Moon Crystal is around the disc edge. 
There's no Sailor Moon logo in the middle of the artwork itself, but it is quite minimalistic, but it blends in naturally with the overall packaging of this digipack, uh, as you can see here, which, oddly enough, the inside of the digipack is quite minimalistic. There's no shouty artwork like previous sets of Sailor Moon, but then the outside of the artwork, scream, uh, outside of the digipack, screams artwork, and it's like, hmm, which way are you trying to go? Are you trying to go minimalistic or overpowering artwork? But, you know, it does look pretty cool. Um, you know, once you've unpacked it all, but unfortunately, it's you know, it's only that inside artwork you get. So, overall, it's quite a nice set. You know, it's disappointing that they haven't used the chipboard art box to make it more rugged and you know, it'll eventually last longer. But overall, it's quite a nice set. So, that's what you can expect from Sailor Moon Crystal Part 1 as a limited edition Blu ray and DVD combi pack from Australia.